my favourite Kim Kardashian look and that is the hair she had for her wedding day. Now you might think, oh it's wedding day hair, it's only if I'm getting married. Nah, -uh, no way. You can wear that hairstyle wherever you like, whether it's during the day, going out in the evening with the girls, going out for a day, going to the cinema, you name it. It's a hairstyle that you can just wear absolutely anywhere. Super easy to do, so let's get going. So first things first, this morning I washed my hair with my Big Fat Healthy Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. Then let's just grab a hair dryer, we're just gonna quickly blast that dry. And then once we've dried that, again, just give it a bit of a comb through and we want to just part our hair directly in the middle. So just grabbing your hair like so, you can kind of find the natural part in here in the middle of your head. And then just brush that down. We want this front section to be nice and smooth. So you want to just make sure that's nice and not free. And because this is quite a sleek look, we're just going to straighten the ends of our hair. Now as you can see, naturally my hair is absolutely dead straight, there is no curl in it whatsoever, so I don't really need to straighten it, but for this look we're going to just go over with the straighteners just to give it that really sleek, smooth look. If you like, you can also give it a bit of a wave, that's the kind of look you're going for, but today we're going to go for the Kim K straight and sleek look. Using my Lee Stafford Argonal from Morocco hair straighteners, I'm just going to lightly go over and just when I get to the end, I'm just going to curl that under just a tiny bit, just for preference, so I just like that look better. And then we're just going to lightly go over the ends of our hair. If you've got slightly more curly hair, you might need to go right from the top. But again, if your hair's quite straight like mine, just go from about halfway down, just to make sure the hair's nice and sleek. And then just grabbing my polishing brush, I'm actually going to take some of the hair from the top of my head backwards. And I'll show you why we're doing this in a minute. But you just want that front section of parting to be quite small actually. You don't want it to be that long. So we're just going to grab that and brush that out of the way. So it's set backwards. And then grabbing the front sections of hair. You just want to kind of keep these separate from the ones at the back. Because we're just going to pin these down. So just kind of grabbing that hair out of the way. You can kind of leave these front sections hanging a bit loose like so. You just want to smooth these down even more and then really smooth and sleek and then I'm going to grab two curvy grips and you'd want to just kind of take this hair at the front here and take it right back behind your ear and then we're going to pin this down. Just grabbing your curvy grip you want to place this right behind your ear so you can't even see the grip when the hair is down like so and then you can just bring the rest of that hair back round and that will cover it up nicely and then just do the same on this side as well so just grab this hair take it right back behind the ear we're going to grab our backcombing brush and this is brilliant because it's got two layers of bristles so it really gets in there when it comes to backcombing and we want to just grab that bit of hair that we pushed back earlier with the polishing brush so if you could just find that on top of your head you can always use the other end of the comb just to separate it from the rest of your hair you want to lift this up and then just backcomb this down now if you don't know how to backcomb we've actually done a video on this i filmed one with lee himself where he taught me how to backcomb but you just want to make a cushion at the bottom of your head Again, if you don't want it too big, you don't have to do too much back combing. If you just want a little bit, feel free to do whatever you want to do. So once we've done that section, we can then get the underneath bit as well. And just kind of make sure all of that hair is pushed down. And then you will see it looks a bit weird at the moment, but don't worry, we're going to brush that out. If you've got any more sections that just need a little bit of brushing up there, then just do those now as well, because it's better to do it all at once. Just going to literally smooth that over. You don't want to brush it out, but you just want to smooth that down so it looks a little bit more sleek, which is the look we're going for, of course. And then to give it that really shiny, sleeky look, I'm using this Shine Head Shine Spray all over my hair. And there you go, guys. This is a Kim Kardashian wedding look inspired hairstyle that you can wear whenever you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click the subscribe link below and the thumbs up button as well. And if you do attempt this look, make sure you tweet both me and Lee your photos because we'd love to see you guys and how you interpret these looks yourself. All our social media links can be found below and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye, guys.